As we told you at the top of the newscast, an historic covered bridge in Perry County was destroyed by fire, and investigators say it was no accident. News Ace Brandon McNamara spoke with residents who went out to see the destruction. This is what's left of the Delville covered bridge. Several residents of this area have been out this morning to say goodbye to the bridge they remember so fondly. And we'd ride our bicycles out here every day. You know, the parents knew where to find the kids. If they didn't know where they were, we were out here fishing. So many memories, as strong as this 175 year old frame. When I first got here, I cried. They say it was the most picturesque of Perry County's 14 covered bridges and won't be remembered by these last two taken by firefighters when they arrived early this morning. Front bag burned the whole way off. I mean, it's just a shame that. You know, if it's suspicious or someone did light it on fire, why? Why do you need to do that? This bridge defined the community. Dennis Hawker is the president of the Perry County Historical Society. He says the bridge has already been rebuilt twice after being destroyed in floods. But each time, a piece is lost. I mean, once it's gone, it's gone forever. I mean, we can replace the bridge, but you can't replace the age. You can't replace the history. And you can't replace the memories. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hare. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. When I when I pass, I wanted my ashes to be dumped off of this bridge, and now it ain't here. So. The bridge is owned by Perry County, and the Historical Society says it'll cost at least one million dollars to replace. In Wheatfield Township, Perry County, Brendan McNamara, News 8. The bridge was built in 1889, and as we said, it's listed on the National Register of Historic Places.